like yourself, Dr. Jones, I have a passion for antiquities. Have a look over here. This might interest you. Well, it's sandstone, Christian symbol, early Latin text, mid 12th century, I should think. That was our assessment as well. Where'd this come from? My engineers unearthed it in the mountain region north of Ankara while excavating it with copper. Can you translate the inscription? Quis quis bibit aquam, who drinks the water I shall give him, says the Lord. We'll have a spring inside him welling up for eternal life. Let them bring me to your holy mountain in the place where you dwell, across the desert and through the mountain to the canyon of the crescent moon to the temple where the cup that where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ resides forever the holy grail dr jones the chalice used by christ during the last supper the cup that caught his blood at the crucifixion and was entrusted to joseph of arimathea the arthur legend I've heard this bedtime story before. Eternal life, Dr. Jones. The gift of youth to whoever drinks from the grail. <laughs> now, that's a bedtime story I'd like to wake up to. An old man's dream. Every man's dream, including your father's, I believe. Grail lore is his hobby. He's a teacher of medieval literature, the one the students hope they don't get. Walter, you're neglecting your guests. Long in a moment, dear. to resist, isn't it? The Holy Grail's final resting place described in detail. What good is it? This Grail tablet speaks of deserts and mountains and canyons. Pretty vague. Where do you want to start looking? Maybe if the tablet were intact, you'd have something to go on, but the entire top portion is missing. Just the same, an attempt to recover the Grail is currently underway. Let me tell you another bedtime story, Dr. Jones. After the grail was entrusted to Joseph of Arimathea, it disappeared and was lost for a thousand years before it was found again by three knights of the First Crusade. Three brothers, to be exact. I've heard this one as well. Two of these brothers walked out of the desert 150 years after having found the grail and began the long journey back to France, but only one of them made it. And before dying of extreme old age, he supposedly imparted his tale to a to a Franciscan friar, I think. Not supposedly, Dr. Jones. This is the manuscript in which the friar chronicled the knight's story. It doesn't reveal the location of the grail, I'm afraid, but the knight promised that two markers that had been left behind would. This tablet is one of those markers. It proves the knight's story is true. But as you pointed out, it's incomplete. Now, the second marker is entombed with the knight's dead brother. Our project leader believes that tomb to be located within the city of Venice, Italy. As you can now see, Dr. Jones, we're about to complete a great quest that began almost 2,000 years ago. We're only one step away. That's usually when the ground falls out from underneath your feet. You could be more right than you know. Yes? We've hit a snag. Our project leader has vanished, along with all his research. We received a cable from his colleague, Dr. Schneider, who has no idea of his whereabouts or what's become of him. I want you to pick up the trail where he left off. Find the man, and you will find the grail. You've got the wrong Jones, Mr. Donovan. <laughs> Why don't you try my father? We already have. Your father is the man who's disappeared.